Hey, what's up? Vikram Diol here. And I wanted to record a really quick audio here um, on what our clients are doing inside the Real Estate Sales Academy to go from less than one or one deal a month to two plus three. Some are even like Kuval and Mario are on track to doing 12 to 15 deals in the fourth quarter. And so I really wanted to share a couple of things here. In the modern day, right, the post COVID world, sales has changed because the consumer has changed. Wait, what do you mean by that, Vikram? Let me break it down here real quick. Because of COVID, all the companies out there had to go online. They had to go to sales companies. They had to go to text messaging. And what that means is, is that the consumer, the prospect, you, when you're in a buying situation, has completely changed. We've become so like, we just know when our phone rings, when it's a spam call or when it's a friend's call. We know when somebody calls us, the first thing out of their mouth is, hi, sir, how are you today? Or hello, Vikram, uh, is Vikram there? And that triggers what in our bodies? It triggers instant, oh God, it's a sales call. And we, you know, we don't wanna be rude to these people because they're human beings on the other end of the phone, but we realize instantly that it's a sales call. Our amygdala in the back of our brain says, oh, this is fight or flight. We get triggered. When we get triggered, we want to get off the phone as quickly as humanly possible, but we don't want to be rude to the other person. So we make an excuse. Oh, I'm busy. I'm going into a meeting. I'm picking up my kids. I can't talk right now. Can you call me back later? Oh, you know, maybe in six months we'll be in the market for something. We give them all of these responses because we were instantly triggered by something that we heard that triggered the fight or flight mechanism in our brain to say, this is danger. This is a salesperson. They want my money. I didn't ask for this phone call. And so we instantly, with a minute we hear the tonality, right? Because the fight or flight mechanism in our brain is only there to say, wait a minute, that's a loud sound. That's a dangerous sound. Wait, that's a dangerous thing, right? Our eyes and our ears are the gateway for our protection, right? They allow us to see and hear and communicate, but they're also the gateway for our protective mechanisms to keep us from getting eaten by a lion when we were still cavemen and women. With that being said, why is that important? Because our tonality right? Our tonality is what draws people in or it pushes people away because we sound so salesy, right? If our tonality is like, Hey, how you doing today? I'm just calling because remember our CRM, we talked a couple months ago. Or, well, we're just calling to see if you're ready to buy yet. Well, that tonality actually pushes people away and it worked like seven, eight years ago. That actually worked seven or eight years ago, but now everybody's training on it. Every sales coach is training on it. They're talking about it from the stages. Be excited, smile, be enthusiastic. Well, that doesn't work anymore. What that does is it gets us, Hey, call me back or even worse. It gets a bunch of beep, 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 click. And I could share so many calls that my clients have shared with me. Vic, what happened here on this call? I said, oh, well, Kuval, you, you, you sounded super salesy. He's like, really? I was like, yeah, bro. He's like, but I followed the script that my, my, my broker gave me. You could take a really bad script and you can change your tonality just like I'm doing right now. And if you change your tonality, you'll actually draw people in. So inside of what we do here, right? If you want to become a great salesperson, the first thing you got to work on is tonality. How do we draw people in instead of pushing them away? How do we get people to want to work with us or at least have a conversation with us? It's the first thing they hear. It's your tone. So I teach our clients, and this is something you can learn right now just to have better conversations, at least not get hung up on is, Become curious with people. When you're curious with people, guess what? They're curious back with you. So if you want to nail the first part of the trust report influence sales method, it's tonality because tonality will allow people to start to at least keep their walls down so we can start to build trust. The second part, right? The second part, and I want to keep this video short because I know you're 
probably busy driving to calls, driving to appointments, going to a listing, showing a property. So I want to be mindful of your time because I, I gave you a little bit of homework to do as well. The second part is, is what is the first question we ask or what is the first thing we say? Is it something about us? Hey, I'm just calling because we sold a property in the neighborhood. I was wondering if you had seen it or I just wanted to call you because I know you're interested in a ABC Apple Orchard Drive property. Are we talking about ourselves? Or are we talking about them? Ring, ring. Hey, uh, uh, Vikram. Yeah. Yeah. Who's this? Hey, uh, Vikram. This is just uh Vikram with real brokers, right? Do you guys notice the calmness, the chillness? Now let's say we're calling an expired, right? I'll give you guys how we open up our expireds. Ring, ring. Uh, hello. Uh, hi, uh, uh, Bob. Yeah, this is Bob. Who's this? Hey, uh, Bob, this is, this is just Vikram deal here. And, and I'm not quite sure you could help me, right? I'm not quite sure you could help me. Now the person's curious and they're intrigued because it's like, well, I don't know if I could help you. Like what, what's going on? Did something happen? Is everybody okay? When we use curiosity and we ask better questions, that alone changes the way that people respond to you, which is going to give you more confidence. It's going to allow you to get on the phone more to make those calls to those people you don't know, because we all know the circle of people we know is this big and the circle of people we don't know is infinite. Trust, rapport, influence, sales. The way we build rapport is by learning to ask the right questions using the right tone, body language, everything hand in hand, because when we start learning how to ask the right questions and when you're new, right, when you're new, we roll this out slowly because when we're new, if I teach you everything that I've learned over the last, don't tell my mom, okay, but 41 years of my life, if I teach you everything I know right out the gate, you're going to take your sales process and flip it upside down. So the first thing we work on is just tonality. Then we work on how do we open up a phone call a little bit better. Then we work on the questions throughout the entire process so that you prevent the objections, right? Maybe the objection you're getting is we need to interview other agents, right? That seems to be the common one, right? Or people are like, well, we're not really in, a, in the market to buy because interest rates are high. And then we go into the spiel of objection handling instead of just understanding what they mean by interest rates are high or the market's high, right? But if we can't connect to our prospect emotionally by the right tone and the right questions, we're never going to get right? We're never going to get them to open up to us emotionally. So anyways, I just wanted to give you a couple of things that our clients start to work on and see instant results. Just working on your tone right out the gate will give you better results. And that's going to shift your business as we continue to work. If you decide to work with us, right? As we continue to work with our clients, they start to learn how to ask better questions. They start learning how to use the, the right framework to put those questions and their businesses change. And like Mario, one of our clients who just started with me about 90 days ago, a guy I've known for years, great guy, super charismatic, super friendly, super awesome, so connected in the community. A couple of his friends that know me, they're like, bro, Mario's crushing it right now. He's having his best year ever. And this is in the middle of 2023 where most markets are down 20 to 50%. He's at seven listings in the last 90 days and about five other buyers. So I think he's around 11 or 12 deals done, closed and paid. Whereas earlier this year, he was struggling with one a month, right? When you learn the difference in language patterns, when you learn the difference in tonality, when you learn how to use body language, when you use language that doesn't trigger sales resistance, but it's neutral and draws the prospect in your business changes in a matter of months. So, We'll see you in a couple of hours or not sure when you're watching this video, but we'll see you soon on the call. Come prepared, be in a quiet spot and let's go crush it.